Okay, good morning everyone. And this morning I'm going to explain the answer of some uh, what is this? Uh, structure structure uh, questions from the TOEFL paper piece test. Yeah. Okay, so I hope my explanations will be able to help you improve your understanding and also improve your TOEFL score. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Uh, number one, after the funeral, the residents of the apartment building, uh, we have to choose uh, among A, B, C, or D. Yeah, which one is the best answer? Yeah, okay, so we'll read this one by one. The residents of the apartment building sent faithfully flowers all weeks to the cemetery. Yeah, little bit weird, yeah. Send to the cemetery its big flowers faithfully. Yeah, it's not really okay. Okay, so uh, send flowers faithfully to the cemetery its week. Send its week faithfully to the cemetery flowers. So the answer is uh, C. C is the answer. So, uh, okay, so I use this. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, uh, what's wrong with A? Yeah. Send flowers faithfully to the cemetery. So, C is right because it's uh, send flowers. Send flowers faithfully at verb to the cemetery. It's big, so it's, it's structurally uh, standard and nice to, to, to hear. Send faithfully flowers. So, so uh, A is wrong because faithfully is supposed to be uh, after flowers. Yeah, so faithfully is supposed to be after after flowers. Yeah, okay. So the position of faithfully. And then the B send to the cemetery. It's big. Uh, and this is not the, the correct, the correct, uh, the correct structure. Yeah. Okay, so the best structure is scent, and then we also have uh, flowers, yeah, flowers, and uh, so flowers, and then faithfully, it's an adverb, yeah, so subject, uh, and then object, adverb, and then the information of place, yeah, cemetery, uh, tempat uh, itu. Uh, graveyard there yeah. and then it's week is the information of of time so this is the best the best or the standard uh, structure <coughs> yeah so today at the subject verb object and then adverb kemudian at the keterangan tempat adverb of time and keterangan waktu yeah jadi yang lain-lain tidak 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 sesuai dengan itu yeah jadi makanya C is the best answer. And then number two, because the first pair of pants didn't fit properly, he asked for another pants. Yeah, the first pair didn't fit properly. He asked for another another pants. Another pants. I think uh, first pair another pants will be okay. Other pants is wrong because others so because of this yeah it's not okay yeah and then uh, the other ones the others yeah it's not okay and another pair another pants uh c d is better than a yeah? because we do not have to we do not have to say uh this one yeah no we don't have we do not have to say this again no we do not have to repeat yeah but we can use d so D is the best answer, yeah, yeah, so, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, so D is the best answer, yeah, okay, this one, yeah, so, uh, what should I do with this, yeah, yeah, so D is the best answer, uh, uh, yeah, so D is the best answer, yeah, okay, and let's continue. The committee has met and they have reached a decision. Yeah, the committee has met and they have reached a decision. So we do not have to say they again, no. Yeah, because 
the community has met and uh, they have reached decision. Uh, and the committee is it actually. Yeah, so the committee is actually it, yeah, not they. And it has formulated themselves some opinions. I think it's too long, man. Eh? Themselves. And its decision was reached at it has reached a decision. So the best answer is D. Yeah, D is the best answer. Yeah. 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 So it it the committee is it, yeah, not the they. Yeah, that's why it's wrong. Yeah. And then B is wrong, or B is not okay because it has formed itself. Okay, it's too long. Yeah, this word D, and uh, and C is using passive, so we do not need to use passive yet. Okay, yeah, so just we use uh, D. Yeah, D is the best answer. Yeah? Okay, and then let's prepare for number four. Alfred Adams has uh, lived longestly in times previous it looks sounds weird yeah sounds weird never before lived so ah it also sounds weird and have, has, has it ever lived alone before so it may be correct yeah before live without the company of his friends it's too long yeah so d is too long and complicated and worthy jadi uh, terlalu bulat gitu ya Nah, okay, ya. Maksudnya seperti demikian, tapi terlalu bulat ya. So it's, it's not right ya. And B is wrong because the word soul. What is live soul? Ya, it's not clear ya. Soul is not clear ya. Live longlessly in times previous. Ya, in times previous also, uh, it's not really right ya. So the best answer is C. And then. Number five, John's score on the test is the highest in the class. Yeah. Okay, he should study last night. He should have studied, so it's it's wrong. Yeah, last night we cannot combine uh, last night and yeah, this is last night. Yeah, last night. So why we use should should harusnya uh, should have. Yeah. So A is wrong. Yeah. Okay. And then they should have started last night is the best answer. Yeah, this is the best. Answer. Okay, so uh, you should use uh, should have. Yes, yeah, so you should have started last night. Yeah, because last night so should have started. So B is the answer. Uh, B is the right answer. And then C, he must studied last night so he must have means pasti dia pasti study yeah oh so and then we have a two candidates of the answer a or oh sorry b or c should have or must have yeah okay and let's have a look at d he must have so it is wrong yeah so d is wrong so we have b or c yeah so we compare should have yeah should have or must have yeah okay and let's learn the context yeah okay jadi kalau should have itu semestinya ya tapi kalau must have itu pasti nah ini the statement says John's score on the test is the highest nah is the highest yeah so it means automatically we we it means that uh, Dia pasti belajar tadi malam. Ya, jadi bukan should have lagi, tapi must have. So C is better than B. So I correct this. Ya. I correct this and choose uh, C. C is better better than B. Ya. Okay, so let's continue guys. The next question. Then Henry will not be able to attend the meeting tonight. Ya. Okay, because he must to teach a class, so it's wrong. Yeah, he must teach, yeah, it's wrong. So, he will be teaching a class, probably. Oh, he will teach a class. It's not normal yet. It's a little bit weird, yeah. Because he will have teaching class, uh, it's also not okay, yeah. So, B is the best answer. Yeah, so B is the best answer. Yeah. 
Okay. And then number seven, having been served lunch. Having been so having been means that there is a subject. Yeah, there is a subject. Jadi ada subjeknya. Having been ada ada subjeknya siapa? Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah, jadi having been setelah dilayani, having been served, so it's passive. Ya, yeah, so having been served is passive. Jadi dilayani passive. Ya. Yeah. Nah, the problem was discussed by the members of committee. Maybe now the committee members discuss the problem. Maybe right? It was discussed by the committee. No, because it's unclear. Yeah, who is it? Yeah, a discussion of the problem was made by the members. Oh no! So, uh, I think B is the best answer. Yeah, B is the right answer. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because there is a subject of the of the statement the committee members yeah yeah so the having been having been served lunch so it was indonesia it says that setelah diberi makan siang ya yeah, maka para anggota komite para anggota panitia mendiskusikan problemnya so this is a subject verb and then the object yeah so it's very clear yeah verb and this one is the object so it's clear yeah, simple and clear yeah jadi tidak seperti yang lain ya kita. Oke okay, ya, yeah, so I hope that you have an understanding, improve your understanding, and let's continue guys to number uh, number eight ya. Yeah, so how to answer this questions correctly ya? Yeah. Oke okay, number eight, Florida, Florida hasn't yet ratified the amend amendment amendment ya, yeah, and several other states hasn't either uh, we have to choose and several other states hasn't either so uh, it's not okay yeah because states is is plural yeah and why it hasn't yet yeah? so it's not right yeah so it is not right yeah it is not right and neither has some of the other states mm, little bit weird for me yeah so we are answering this Yeah, uh, sometimes based on our experience, and we, yeah, and uh, yeah, we can say that's a little bit feeling, yeah, because we don't have much time. Like and some other states also have an either. No, oh, okay. Neither have several other states. So I think D is the answer. Yeah. So D is the answer. Yeah. D is the answer of this because it's. It's uh, simple, simple and structurally correct, yeah. Okay, so neither have, neither have, we use the uh, inversion, neither have, neither have, several other states are subject, yeah, okay, like this, yeah. Okay, so C is wrong because some other states also have an either, uh, so it, is, it is weird, yeah, it's weird, B is also weird, yeah. Okay, yeah, so okay, and number nine, the chairman requested. Chairman is the leader of the meeting, yeah. The chairman requested requested that the members studied more carefully the problem. Studied the problem more carefully. Yeah, so the prop the problem was more carefully studied. Uh, passive. We did not need to use passive, I think. With more carefulness, the problem. The members study the problem more carefully. So, D is the right structure. Yeah. So you guys have to study the subject, verb, object, adverb. Yeah. Information of place, information of time. Yeah. Jadi itu harus kita pelajari. Jadi struktur yang benar itu subject, verb, object. Yeah. Kemudian kata keterangan. Kemudian keterangan tempat, keterangan waktu. Itu. Itu. There is the The apa ya? How do you say this? Uh, this is the fixed pattern ya yeah, for for language ya yeah, for English language. Jadi kalau polanya nggak seperti itu, itu kemungkinan besar salah. Ya, yeah? so so the chairman requested that that is followed by clause. Ya, yeah? jadi that diikuti oleh clause. Ya, yeah? so I can say followed by clause. Ya, yeah? clause. Ya, yeah, followed by Klaus. Ya, yeah. so Klaus is actually uh, this is uh, 
subject plus verb ya yeah. so class is a subject plus verb ya yeah. okay so the members is the subject of the class uh, oh no no not like this okay so the members are the subject and then study is the verb and the problem problem is the object and uh, more carefully is the adverb yeah okay for number 10 we have uh, okay california california relies heavily on income from fruit crops and uh, let me think yeah california relies heavily on income on, from fruit crops and florida also i don't think so yeah because relies is the verb yeah relies is verb relies heavily on income florida too florida is as well so does florida so does florida is the answer yeah okay so does florida is the answer yeah Okay, so A is wrong because there is no verb. Yeah, the verbnya adalah ini, present simple. Yeah, jadi verbnya adalah present simple. Yeah, okay, B, there is no verb, that, that's why it's wrong. And A, B, C ha have no verb, so that's why they are not right. Okay, and D has verb, yeah, so D is the answer. Yeah, okay, and then number 11. Okay, let's go to number 11. The professor said that, so that again, and followed by Klaus. Yeah, followed by Klaus. Yeah, Klaus is a combination of subject and verb. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's make it. Yeah. The professor said that the students can turn over their reports on on the Monday, on the Monday is wrong. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Yeah, the the that the reports on Monday could be received passive. No need to use passive. The students could hand in their report on Monday. Seems to be right. The students will on Monday. Okay, no, no. So B C is the answer. Yeah, C is the answer. Yeah. Okay, number eleven C. Yeah, jadi pattern pattern for A, B, and D are not okay pattern of a b and d are not are not okay yeah. okay so the best pattern students subject and then could hand in is verb and then their reports is the object yeah so uh, i think it's perfect yeah so c is the is c is the answer yeah uh, let's continue guys to the next for number 12 yeah, for number 12, uh, we have a question like this. Yeah, this year will be difficult for the organization because they have less money and volunteers than, than they had last year. Uh, maybe, okay. Yeah, so when I'm answering this question because of the very time limited, yeah, the time is very limited. So we are supposed to use feeling also. And you can have a good feeling or good accurate feeling if you have a practice, 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 and practice. Jadi tidak ada yang instant ya. So there is no instant way to answer this correctly. Tak ada. Jadi kita memang harus melewati practice, 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 learning, learning, and learning. Ya, jadi learning, learning, learning. Baru kita punya sense itu ya, sehingga kita bisa jawab dengan lebih cepat tanpa harus baca secara detail. Ya, sama kalau, kalau kita uh, same thing when we are listening sesuatu, ya kita sesuatu dengan sesuatu kadang uh, language-nya ini benar atau enggak benar itu kadang kita enggak tanpa berpikir karena kita udah sering latihan, kita udah pakai, maka kita tahu ini uh, secara struktur ini benar enggak karena kita udah udah tahu udah banyak latihan structure. So, again, 
learning, 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 or practice, practice, and practice. Yeah, to make it fast to answer these questions correctly. Okay, number twelve. This year will be difficult for this organization because they have uh, less money and volunteers than they had last year. A little bit weird. Some they organization kan tunggal kan apa pakai they. Okay, and then you need one of the mystic. And it has less money and fewer volunteers than it had last year. So it could be right. Kita kasih. We give a, apa ya, tanda dulu ya. Bahwa ini adalah candidate dari jawaban benar ya. Nah, jadi oh, one of the hints, one of the clue, yeah, one of the strategic tactic when you are answering this question is you can give a temporary answer first ya jadi kasih jawaban sementara dulu nggak apa-apa kasih tik dulu atau apa ya jadi in case that you are running out of time in case kalau, kalau waktunya terbatas atau nggak ada waktu lagi kalian punya jawaban sementara gitu ya yang memang kemungkinan benarnya mungkin enggak 100% tapi ya 90% sudah ya gitu. so the last year it didn't have uh, no 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 so it is not supposed to be here ya. there are fewer money and volunteers than in the last year there were so uh, B is the best answer guys yeah okay okay let's continue and for number 13 yeah sorry there is it's not clear yeah nomornya nggak kelihatan jadi ini nomor 13 yeah so I'll write down number 13 oh sorry it's too big yeah okay for number 13 the teachers have had some problems deciding yeah when to when to to, to the students they show oh no it's it's it sounds weird uh, when they are going to return to the students final papers when they should return the final papers to the students ah i think c is sounds sounds good yeah the time when the final papers they should return oh no so it's the position of day is confusing yeah. so C is the best answer yeah for number 13 C is the best answer yeah so C is the best answer yeah why because structurally it's okay yeah. structurally standard yeah. okay the, some of the reasons are when the teachers have some some problems deciding when when they subject yeah yeah the subject should return is the uh, verb and then the final papers in a uh, direct object direct object and to the students in direct object so it, it match yeah it matches yeah the gitu. yeah okay so sedangkan yang lain the other options itu uh itu i don't think it's right ya. Jadi enggak karo-karoan gitu ya strukturnya gitu. Ya, kita bisa rasakan di sini. Ya, when are they going atau tanpa alasan ya tanpa uh, oke okay, gini ya. Oke, okay, and then let's go to number 14. She wanted to serve some coffee to her guests. However, she had many sugar. No. Uh, itu sugar itu tidak pakai many tapi pakai much. There wasn't a great amount of sugar. Ini terlalu panjang. She didn't have much sugar. Nah, ini, ini uh, simple but right. She didn't have. She, uh, okay. She didn't have much sugar. It's okay. Nah, jadi B is too long. Yeah, she was lacking in the amount of the sugar. Yeah, ini juga is worthy. Ya. Terlalu panjang. Tele tele. Yeah, it's not right. Yeah. Okay. So let's continue to number fifteen. There hasn't a, there hasn't been a great response to the sale. Nah, ini kita gunakan tag questions. Yeah, this is what we call tag questions. Tag. Uh, oh, why is it so big? Yeah? Questions, tag questions. Yeah, tag questions. Yeah, for tag questions, you have to pay attention to the verb hasn't been so it is a present perfect there hasn't been a great response to the sale hasn't it now uh, c is the answer okay. yeah there hasn't been a great response to the sale 
ya yeah, Kaiser dead ya yeah. oke okay, number uh, oh wait 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 oh wait, wait. I made mistake ya karena ini bukan bukan pakai it ya atau there so so D is better ya yeah, D is more accurate ya yeah, karena dia pakai there there hasn't been there hasn't been negative so it's negative so it should be positive ya yeah. ya yeah, so D is the ya yeah. jadi karena hasn't been itu negatif maka uh, tag nya harus positif has ya jadi kita nggak bisa pakai not nggak bisa jadi kalau tag nya negatif uh, ini uh, statement nya negatif maka tag nya harus positif ya kebalikannya juga kalau kalau uh, statement nya positif tag nya harus negatif so the best answer is D ya 